Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl. Do you know what this means? This means that we are flying business class from America to Europe. And now we're gonna go into business class cabin, check out what they give us for food, check out how it looks like. This is my first time flying business class transatlantic. Let's do it. The coolest thing about flying business is actually skipping the line to economy. Look at that. One of the perks of flying in business class is that you get access to business lounges. This business lounge in San Jose is 50-50. There are not a lot of gluten-free and dairy-free options. This is my current diet, but it was still cool. At the same time, you don't have to travel business class to get into those lounges. I have a priority bus which came together with my bank card and I just get access to all of them for free. Gluten, gluten, healthy. As for me, processed sugar, gluten, processed sugar. Um, no way, that's good. How to tell that that's a Russian traveling? Boiled eggs? Six. <laughs> I know they feed in business class. It's just, you know, because I'm Russian. Cheers. People hate me already, but it was so exciting. Mess on board. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome aboard. Thank you. One million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Drinks are coming in. We got a pouch, socks, sleeping mask. Toothbrush with toothpaste, headphone covers, lip balm and moisturizer. That's the best. I love this company. And that's it. Cheers. Let's explore the seat for a while. So we have a table here. We have Bose headphones here. And we have a remote control for the TV. First time I'm flying like that. Imagine 10 hours of the flight left and I can just lie down, I can relax before a craziness that awaits the next week. So I spend one day in St. Petersburg, then I'm off to London. Wow, this is one of the best investments. All right, it's time for food. We're starting with mango maracuja juice and some nuts. And you know what's the coolest thing? When flight attendant talks to you, he calls you by name. He called me Miss Mogilko. I'm like, thank you so much. This is so cool. If you see a person entering the restroom with a camera, you know that this person is a blogger. Maybe it's Silicon Valley girl. <laughs> um, let's see, what's in here? The soap is by Chorus, mouthwash, sanitary napkins, and hairbrush. Meal time. Yeah. I got my table, sir. Um, everything laid down. My tuna is here. Wow. This is gluten free, by the way. <laughs> this is buckwheat. Okay, let's try. Spicy. Mm. 
so good. We need to fold the seat. It's the night. <laughs> then I'm ready to sleep. I'm gonna finish watching the movie and just enjoy the flight. It's been nine hours since we started flying. I am fresh and well slept because I could sleep, because I laid down. You know, business class, you still get the same feeling of a really dry air. Uh, you still hear babies crying, but you can lay down and you can actually fall asleep. I was dreaming, I was sleeping, I woke up fresh. And the most important thing, just a gem. Okay. Uh, is that cherry? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. You wake up and your legs don't hurt, your back doesn't hurt because when I try to sleep in economy class, I put my legs up, which means there's a lot of pressure on my lower back and um, my legs just get bigger. <laughs> my lower back really hurts. There is no such feeling right now. I like, can I live like this forever? <laughs> can I always fly business on transatlantic? This is so cool. It's definitely worth its money um, when you upgrade um, at the counter, not when you buy it. Still not like that was too expensive. Uh, but upgrading at the counter, wow, such a life hack. I just noticed another difference, which is really weird, but I realized that we spend the whole flight in silence. They just lit the signs with a seatbelt on and that was it. It was silent the whole flight, the whole 11 hour flight. That was perfect. And I think I look so fresh. <laughs> and I feel fresh. I just like the feeling. It's like I haven't even flown. <laughs> I want to fly more. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Sydney. Ich habe kein Deutsch während des Fluges gesprochen, nur Englisch. Kein Praktikum. Life hack are those pads. My life hack to you guys is save miles. Uh, and if you have any credit cards that allow you to do so, do that. And another thing, try upgrading just before you fly. So because when we checked the business class flight, it was so expensive. We won't be flying business for like two people. I just went buying it on the website. The further you go, the cheaper it gets. So the first option that we had, there was this auction by Lufthansa. They sent us an email, they were like, you can upgrade. And we made our bets, but we lost somehow. But when we came to the airport and asked to upgrade at the counter, the price was pretty much the same. So like, okay, great, let's do it. My friends told me that the cheapest way to upgrade is when you pass all the registration, you pass the check-in, you give your bags to the luggage, and then right before you fly at the gate, you can approach the lady at the gate and ask if there are any upgrades available. And this is like the cheapest. My friends told me they were able to get an upgrade for like $300 for a transatlantic flight. This has been officially the easiest flight in my life. I didn't realize we we're even flying and we just landed. And I, oh no, <laughs> this is where I wanted, I wanted to say, I haven't even felt that we we're landing, but no, I felt it. It's a big airplane, but it's definitely smoother in business class or it's placebo. Thank you so much, Lufthansa. Bye bye business class. We're leaving the first. Bye. bye. <laughs> Who were the first to go out? Business class. Na 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 na. Uh. <laughs> and now back to reality. I thought we should get a car or something, not a bus. 
which is okay. It's just too many people, and <laughs> we're waiting for a few more.